Hey there subscribers, just wanted to show you guys a quick little recovery trick known as a cross database join. When you make an accidental mistake and accidentally replace some data inadvertently and you need to make a correction really quickly. So this happened earlier today. Uh, and this hasn't come up in a long time, but it's something I learned a very long time ago. Occasionally, you have other reasons besides the restore scenario for a cross database join, perhaps maybe to retrieve some data as well. But in this case, it's going to be an update statement. So in my AdventureWorks database, I have a human resources employee table. So we're just going to take a look at it really quick. So if we do a select top 10 star from this table, okay, we can just put it in there really quickly. And what we're going to do is we're going to fix somebody's job title to be the CEO or the chief executive officer. But we're going to make a mistake and we're going to do two things wrong. One, we're going to write an update statement and we're just going to write it carte blanche. We're not going to test it out with a select statement. We're not going to write a transaction. We're going to just do this on the fly because we're very confident in our skill. And this is something I do this as a developer all the time. And I watch other developers do this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to update this table and I'm going to set the job title equal to the job title, chief executive officer. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to do it, let's say, for business entity ID of four. That's what I intend to do, okay? So where business entity ID equals four. But I'm going to make a mistake, and I'm going to be in a hurry, and I'm going to actually highlight this and execute and quickly note that 290 rows got updated. That was not my intent. My intent was to only update one row, but I was in a rush. I accidentally hit execute before I typed, before I highlighted the where statement, or maybe I forgot to type the where clause, but I noticed really quickly, oh boy, I have 290 rows affected. I only wanted one. And if we check our data and we notice, well, all job titles are chief executive officer now. We need to fix this. So how can we fix this very quickly? Well, the first thing you need to do is do a database restore from your system. So hopefully you have database restores and you get the data restored as close to real time as possible, depending upon how your systems are set. So in my case, I've already done the restore and I have another database here called AdventureWorks 2019 Restore October 2022. In this copy, the job titles are correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this copy to correct the job titles in my mixed up scenario. Okay. The ones that I just manipulated or just corrupted accidentally. Okay. So what I'm going to do is create an update statement. I already have parts of it here. So I'm going to copy the update from before. I'm going to set the job title again, equal, but I'm going to hold off there. And I'm going to, have to do a from clause. And the from is going to be this table that's bad. All right. That's one of my tables. This is we're going to do a join. So that table, we're going to call this live bed data. Okay. As an alias. And the other database that we're going to get data from is this restore. So I'm going to drag this over so I don't have to type the long name. Okay. And that is also going to be the employee table. All right, so it's going to be the employee um, table there. And we'll just grab the naming conventions and paste them in. And we're going to call this good data. All right. So we'll set job title equal to good data dot job title. All right, so we're going to say set the job title from the bad table to the good data job title. But just like every other join, we have to have a where clause. So we're going to do a where clause to set the join condition. We're not going to use an inner join scenario. We're just going to actually do this in the where clause. So we're going to say where 
live bad data dot job, not job title in this case, we're going to use the primary key field, the business entity ID. So that's going to be used and we're going to use good data dot business entity ID. So what this will do for us is going to basically join the data up in the bad table to the data in the good table across the different databases. You see the naming part conventions do cross from one database to another. As long as I have permissions in both databases, this will execute properly. So if I run this command, all of my records, 290 will get updated once again. And we can check our, I'll comment this out, and we can check our select top 10. And we can see the data has been corrected. Everybody's fixed back to normal. Now I can go and fix my mistake and run this original update as intended and only impact one row. So that's how you do a cross database join on an update statement. It's a great way to restore data in a pinch after you've done a restore of a database and not have to restore an entire table, not have to drop or create anything that might have dependencies or do a full database restore. So this comes in handy. And also at times you can do something similar if you're trying to bring data together with select statements from across different databases. Hope you find it helpful. If you're not a subscriber, I hope you do subscribe for future tutorial videos. If you have questions, comment below or reach out personally. I'm more than happy to uh, reply back. Thanks everybody.